Hey guys, it's Leighton. I am back after a little bit of a break and now we're gonna jump right into a bridal illustration because it is June after all. Um, I'm not gonna be on camera for this one just because I'm not really in the mood but I still want to give you guys a little bit of a look into how I do a bridal look. How are you guys by the way? Like, how are you? Are you good? Oh, that's uh, amazing to hear. Or... I'm, I'm so sorry you're not doing that great, but I hope things turn around. Those are my responses. You either get to choose one, it's a pick your own adventure, deal with it. So, <laughs> uh, June has brought a lot of, um, a lot of surprises my way. From, um, the whooping cough of 2019 to clients being shady with their source material to being professionally ghosted. And even to the um, unexpected um, accusations of, of, of theft. <laughs> uh, June has been very trying. June, she's been quite a very, um, a very interesting woman to deal with. Let's just say that. Is June a woman? Who knows? So definitely for this episode of the Hot Mess Express, I want to get into how i got into hot water for uh some quote-unquote plagiarism <laughs> because i find it to be very interesting and i think a lot of people would find it to be very interesting and maybe you could learn from my mistake who knows so a couple weeks ago let's say a month ago i took on uh three different illustration projects all uh, uh, containing multiple illustrations so the workload was a little heavy and among the three clients that I did take that week, one of them was brand new, never worked with her before and I really kind of just went into it blindly trusting that this client kind of knew the, the design process in a sense. Uh, don't do that. Maybe that's, maybe that's like the first lesson I should learn for myself here. Yeah, but even though I damn well knew better, I did still go ahead with the client because I just wanted to get all of the work out of the way at once. And, uh, boy, that was a mistake. So I just went about my little illustrator life, doing what illustrators do, which, I mean, is illustrating. Uh, so I do end up completing the jobs and sending them out, making sure that everyone got theirs, everyone responded except for one client. Who was it? A new client. So I kind of waited a while and after a while I kind of messaged her again via Instagram. Uh, no response. So I was like, um, am I being professionally ghosted? And the answer is yes, but also no. I guess it is no. I guess it is no. But also yes. Allow me to elaborate. So as I said before, I did message her via DMs on Instagram and she didn't respond, but also she was posting stories, so I guess she could have responded. But also the DM was really just to make sure that she got the email, that it's not in her trash, that you know she saw the work and that she approves or whatever, right? So no response. I was like, okay, well, I guess I am being ghosted. So, naturally, I would just let it go. But this time, I was like, oh my god. After I took so much time and did, like, three clients that week, all multiple illustrations, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of work, a lot of time put into it. I was like, you know what, I am going to post this on my page, on my Instagram page. And I did, and it popped off. It popped off so much that apparently it was sent to a designer who, as it turns out, was the original designer of two of the pieces that, that, the, that the client sent over to be illustrated. Let's make it really clear here. In this design process, I am working as an illustrator. Nothing less, nothing more. Okay, so this all just kind of came 
down like really quickly so i'll send this scene for you guys right it is 10 30 11 ish in the like in the morning right i i just woke up i sit up my phone starts to ring somebody is on the phone telling me that somebody is uh calling me out on my under the, under like my last post on instagram and i'm like completely not even understanding completely not comprehending completely thinking that it's um the client she's talking about the client that sent me the stuff in the first place right totally not it's the designer the original designer the two pieces right <laughs> two of the four pieces that um that were sent so i was like i have no idea what you're talking about so i go to instagram and i see um first i see obviously first i see the comments because uh, that's the one that's screaming at me now the designer had commented from her personal page as well as her business page and her business page is on private so I, I had not ever heard about her business before. Hadn't heard about her before either, right? Uh, so I go into my messages and I see that she messaged me also. Like, So these messages came in around 1, 1.30 a.m. I was asleep. I uh, immediately start thinking about, you know, how to PR, uh, turn this around, how to handle this in the most civil way possible because I am probably one of the least confrontational persons I know. And I just, you know, thrive in, in either calm or personal chaos and not so much in the public uh, forums. So obviously my mind just turns me instantly into Olivia Pope. I'm just like, okay, how do we fix this? How do we handle this? My initial reaction was to just go, uh, well, reply to her, her message because um, that would be like the most sensible thing to do. I did not get a reply. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I just have to reply to a comment which was a very intense approach uh and i did have some messages come to me saying that you know she's a very intense person but you know if your business and your brand is very uh much important to you maybe think about how you approach things like that uh because that could also affect the image that you're trying to uphold but i mean that's just how i think about it anyway so one of the main points that she kept bringing up was that I don't have the permission to use the designs and I also did not tag her. Now, two of the four designs in the piece itself, in the illustration itself are hers. So I'm not going to take down the entire piece. So what I would do is simply just tag her and explain in the comments that she is not the client that I'm speaking of when I say that the client ghosted me in the captions. I also immediately went live, sleepy-eyed and all, looking like I was crying. I was not. I just woke up. I explained everything that happened and saved the live to my page to make sure that everybody that came to my page in the uh, like in the in search for the bacchanal saw that I am um, not stealing her designs. And I eventually did credit her when I found that that she was the original designer. Okay. Now, this move seemed to not sit with her well at all because after that, she commented something along the lines of me being a cloud chaser. And I mean, no shade or anything, but I don't know you. I never seen, I've never seen your work before you uh, came at me very aggressively. So I don't know you or your brand. So I could not have possibly been cloud chasing. I was just trying to give you credit for your work. That's all it was. In the midst of all this confuffle, the client who sent it to me reefed to this, uh, saying that she would pay me uh, my fee and also that she would not be using the designs because all of the negative energy. I was like, sis, negative energy. Okay. My response was, okay, cool. Anyway, now that I'm done venting all of my drama that happened, this is the finished illustration. I'm just going to pop it into PixArt. Of course, you heard me, PixArt. And I'm going to put a background on it and post it on Instagram so you guys can uh, like that if you wish. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.